Okay, if there's only one thing you get out of this video, uh, you have to check out this book. Uh, this is So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport. I freaking love this book. It is all about how one should practice in order to uh, get better at your craft, whatever it is. Uh, it, I, I credit my career to this book, uh, as well as like a lot of life philosophy and such. So I am a professional iOS developer uh, and a serious deep hobbyist in classical guitar. Um, I've worked at some of the big companies, uh, Apple, Google, and Lyft, and now I'm trying to strike off on my own at the moment. Uh, and I'd love to show you my first of those projects uh, that's happening now. So. Um, I said that I'm a hobbyist in guitar. I, I freaking love the classical guitar. Uh, I, uh, on this channel, you've seen uh, I'm learning a super hard piece called the Chaconne. So uh, to make my own practice better, to, to be more efficient, I decided to build a metronome, uh, which is crazy because there's a billion metronomes out there, but mine is better. Uh, it beeps like, all other metronomes do, uh, but what's new about ours is that it has timers and stopwatches like directly there in your metronome. So you don't have to switch away to the system app or talk to Siri uh, or anything horrible like that. Uh, you can just focus on practicing on while your metronome is already up. Uh, that's cool on its own, honestly, that improved my workflow, but what's really cool is that we save that time to databases. So uh, I can see that for the Chaconne, which I mentioned, uh, I've practiced this piece 228 hours over the last year, which is freaking insane. I am crazy. Uh, I love this piece a lot. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's so cool to see that data over time. Um, and yeah, so essentially it's a metronome, it's a practice journal. I don't know which one it is more than the other. It's really both at the same time. Um, so as a practice journal, you can track all of the different exercises. It, this probably looks better in dark mode. Yeah, so you can track all the different exercises that you're practicing. I have tons of variations of arpeggios and scales and as well as my pieces, like the Chaconne that I'm uh, tracking in this. Um, for all of those, you can individually, excuse me, track uh, time. Uh, and um, yeah, so uh, metronome, time tracker. Uh, this is kind of like a to-do list almost, uh, or a habit tracker uh, in terms of things that like you repeat again and again. Uh, and then the last thing, um, well, like for one, like it saves the tempo for all those things that you're practicing, which is so, so helpful, honestly. Uh, I don't have to remember, like find my sheet music of like where, you know, where was I practicing scales at for this piece or something. I can save it super easily. Uh, and then the other big thing that a practice journal does is like taking notes. So we've got note taking that's super easy right there while you're practicing. Um, and then we've got some other features that I'm not gonna get into, um, but like this thing is modular and you can like turn on other tools that are super cool and uh, I can get into in another video. But uh, honestly, I love this app so much. It has improved my workflow 100%. I don't know, not even exaggerating. So I hope you check it out. It's called Mujo uh, and it's on the App Store. Please help us out. What do you think it should cost? Because that is flexible. Uh, right now it's five bucks. So let us know. How do you feel about that? Is that too high? You know, is it just enough? We don't want to do a subscription. That's the only thing. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and until next time.